Bubba. What's that guy's name again? Um, I don't know his name, but he worked. Um, I work in the mail room, and he worked in the mail room. I worked for one company. He went, we merged with a different company. He worked with us. So when he first started working with us, he got cleaned up because he was in Rikers Island for a while. What was he in Rikers for? Uh, probably like heroin and stuff like that. He's a junkie. Wait, you know? him? Yes. Believe it or not, he's a he's a junkie. And uh, what happened was, uh, I told, like, you know what I mean? He was cool, because he actually skates, and he's a good skateboarder. I skated with him in the winter time. And uh, he's a good skateboarder, and he cleaned up for a while, and now he's back at that. But, like, the thing is, his, so I married into him, like, I used to work with him. He kind of disappeared. He got caught stealing at my job. They fired him, and what happened was, I didn't see him for a long time, but then I saw him, and he was actually skating. He looked like a whole different person, like clean, cropped, you know, just like refreshed, skating really good. He was skating with his boy from Long Island. So I was like, yo, that's cool. They, they were both junkies, cleaned up, reformed junkies, skateboarders, whatever, they both cleaned. Two weeks later, he calls me up to tell me his friend died. Why did his friend die? Oh, his friend, over, oh, oh, his friend overdosed on heroin. So he and he kind of like, you know, it was kind of like I talked to him. I was like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. You can talk to me and stuff. You know, I understand it's hard and stuff. He's like, oh, I never want to touch that stuff again. He's like, it's deadly. He's like, when I was at that funeral, I could have been, you know what I mean? It could have been him looking at me, but I was the one who survived. And whatever. Now, here he is again. Now, uh, so a lot of people, they feel really, uh, well, they, they feel should, really sorry for well, him. Well, actually, right now, uh, they shouldn't feel sorry for him because he's got the best feeling inside of him. Because when you do heroin, it's like an orgasm a thousand times better. So he's actually feeling really fucking good, man. So he's probably, like in his head, he's like the best sex in the world. He's having a good time. Don't feel sorry for him. You should envy him and wish that you could be him. Happiest man at Union Square Park. Yes, he's living a dream. I live the dream by skating, he lives the dream by shooting up heroin. <laughs>